Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be trying out these three weeders to remove some weeds from our yard. We have the Corona Weed Destroyer, we have the Weed Hound, and we have Grandpa's Weeder. All three of these easy to handle and use, I think. Uh, let's say the Corona is the heaviest. Yeah, Corona is the heaviest tool and the tallest tool. Uh, I'll give you a measurement in a second. I measured the weed hound right at 36 inches. It is the shortest. And then we have Grandpa's weeder, which is the lightest, being a wooden handle. So, um, yeah, lightest, mid-range, and then the heaviest. And Grandpa's weeder and Corona, I measured right around 44 inches, about the same. So with that being said, let's go ahead and find some weeds and try these out. All right, so we got a dandelion. We're going to, uh, and we've got plenty of dandelion. Um, here's what we will be looking at, removing all of this right here. So what we're going to be doing is finding the center point, which is right there, and we will start out using the weed hound. All right, weed hound. You use your foot, push down. Once it starts hitting the ground. This is going to move up. The claws are going to start closing in on the weed. All right, we pull it up from the yard. We should have the weed still intact. And then we will eject it by pushing the knob there. All right, here's the weed hound. So we still have half of our weed. It did not destroy much of the ground. Uh, it would be easy to fill that in with a little topsoil. Uh, that's good, I like that. Not a huge cavity. Uh, however, we still have half of our weed. So before moving on, we want to try something else with the uh, weed hound. Now, we wasn't very successful in removing the whole uh, weed the first time. So we're going to try a different one here. Fresh weed. I'm going to try to get all of this out. We're going to use the weed hound with a little bit of a twist towards the body. We do have a single handle. I believe it's going to be on my right side. And uh, once I enter the ground, I'll give it a little bit of a twist and then we'll pull it out and see if that helps any. By the way, do not use Crocs when uh, using these tools. Uh, it's best to use some good heavy shoes or boots. Much better still have a small hole which I like got a little bit of a weed there but uh yeah much better much better giving it a little bit of a I gave it a 360 twist but a 180 would probably be good as well next we're gonna try grandpa's weeder okay so we've got like four spikes and when you hold it upright they're uh, parallel with each other. What we're going to do is place it right over the weed, right in the center. We're going to press down with our foot, and then once we have it in the ground, we're going to lean the handle over like that, clamping down, and then we're going to pull up. We should have the weed intact. Removal should be just a release.
Okay, we went down. All right. I don't know how deep that is. Probably inch and a half, maybe two inches. Still have half of our uh, weed. Go ahead and remove that. All right, take two. Nice. So we've got the weed completely out. Here's what we've got. A little bit of a divot there. We'll need to fill in with some uh, with some topsoil. Next, I'm going to demonstrate Weed Destroyer. Uh, I like this tool. I've used it quite a bit. It's a heavy tool, um, built-wise, and it is the heaviest of the three. I can promise you, when we're finished with one push into the earth, Weed Destroyer is going to bring that out. There won't be any sign of that weed left. Okay, let's take a look at the damage that the uh, weed destroyer has done. Look at the size of that hole. Definitely needs some filling in. That is the thing I don't necessarily like about the weed destroyer. However, there's no more weed. Look at this. This just fell to the wayside here. Completely cut and broken. So uh, yeah, that's the advantage of it. Disadvantage of it is make sure you have some fill-in dirt. Nice, sturdy, well-built tool, no doubt about that. So I guess that's gonna be it for the weeders that we've used here today. Uh, again, we've got Corona Weed Destroyer, Weed Hound, and then we've got Grandpa's Weeder. All very capable of removing weeds. Um, some a little bit uh, easier to use than others. I would say Grandpa's weeder, weeder is the easiest to use. However, if you want to get all the weed out, I would go with the Corona. Um, both and all of these, or yeah, all three of these, you're going to have to use uh, heavy footwear, shoes, boots to uh, use these. Um, and I'm saying that from experience because um, I was using, as you saw earlier, that uh, wearing Crocs and I actually hurt my foot. So uh, you definitely want to make sure you wear the right shoes with these. Make sure the soil is not too hard either. Um, so anyway, I guess that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care.